Hey everybody, Dr. Dusty here, and I want to discuss with you some data in regards to chiropractic adjustments and digestion as it relates to your, you know, TMJ, uh, your ability to chew, and your upper neck. All right, first off, you have the jaw and the TMJ, which is the temporomandibular joint, and that is located right here on either side. You have your mouth and teeth. You have your saliva and your salivary glands. Now there are three salivary glands, uh, three pairs that is. You have a, a pair here. You have a pair under your tongue on each side. And then you have a pair right here uh, that all make the saliva that is used uh, to digest food and other things. Now the nerve supply into your uh, mouth, teeth, salivary glands is coming from the cranial nerves, which is basically located in the uh, back here, upper cervical spine, uh, and uh, uh, the occipital area, okay? Uh, now, uh, in regards to saliva, saliva has different, many functions. It is antifungal, saliva is antibacterial, it's antiviral, it coats and lubricates, um, it helps in uh, food digestion. It actually starts the food digestion, not only with the mechanical chewing, but also the enzymes that are uh, in the saliva. And then it protects your teeth. Now, um, in regards to uh, saliva, there's also a number of different tests that can be done uh, with saliva testing. And I won't go over that right now, but uh, that is a very uh, functional thing to help determine a person's uh, hormone levels and such. So saliva testing is done. Uh, now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, go over some of the basic procedures that I do with regards to the TMJ and uh, cranial adjusting and adjusting the upper cervical spine. So we'll see you in a bit for that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go over some pressure points that we do for the head and neck, and then I'll show you some adjusting procedures that I do uh, with uh, TMJ and head and neck problems. Now, this is not to be practiced at home. I'm just showing you this as a demonstration as what, of what we do here in the office. So here we go. So first off, I wanna show you some of the pressure points that I do to uh, help release some of the tension in the neck and uh, upper back. So here's some pressure points of the neck. And I'll just do these, holding these 10 or 15 seconds. Oh, by the way, this is Cameron. And uh, how you doing, Cameron? Good. Okay, let me know if I'm pushing too hard, okay? Okay. So we're gonna do these on the left side and then I can do them on the right side here, just using a, my middle finger for getting in there. And then there's pressure points all along the back of the head that I can do, but sometimes they can be pretty tender. Those are the suboccipital group of muscles. And those can really cause problems with uh, patients in regards to TMJ problems. Uh, and then there's a set of pressure points that we do for the upper back. And here I'm just using my thumbs. Those are kind of tight, aren't they? Yeah, just a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit there. Okay, so that's what I do for the pressure points in the uh, neck and upper back. All right, go ahead and roll on your back. Okay, so now there are sets of pressure points. And sometimes with the, uh, the uh, upper neck and suboccipital area, you know, I'll do uh, repeat some of those pressure points because I can get a little bit better angle at them. And so I got my finger here and I'm running it right across the back of the head, right in that area there. Is that a little tender right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so those are really good pressure points to work. And then there's a whole bunch of pressure points right along the, uh, right around the ear that you can work. 
for TMJ problems. And as a matter of fact, they just feel pretty good unless you get on a bad one there. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right. There, right above the ear, both sides. And then there's a set of pressure points that I can work right in the jaw area. These can be pretty sore on patients, especially if they have TMJ problems. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I work on quite a few patients that have TMJ problems, and this is very effective in helping to get those problems under control. Now, um, I had previously discussed the location of the salivary glands. You have one that sits here, you have one that sits under the uh, tongue on both sides, and then you have uh, salivary glands that sit here. You can actually do some pressure points and massage over those glands uh, on, on this gland and the one right here. Um, those can be effective in helping to get uh, the glands working a little bit better. Okay, so those are the pressure points that I do there. Uh, we did the uh, suboccipital area, we did the pressure points around the head, around the ear, and then uh, did the pressure points in the jaw, kind of in this area here. These can be pretty sore again. Okay, so now some of the adjustments that I do uh, for the cranial area is uh, you take the, uh, take your head here and I can kind of work on the cranial bones here and getting them to move a little bit better just by moving the uh, bones back and forth. Okay, you can do this here. All right, and then we can do uh, some uh, adjustments of the jaw. So go ahead and open your mouth and close. Open and close, open and close. Good, all right, so open and close, open and close, open and close, good. Now there's also another procedure that I do. Work in that area here, loosens up those cranials and gets them moving better. Okay, so the last thing that we do is actually adjust the upper cervical spine. So let's go right there. All right, and here, okay. All right, how's that feel? Okay. Good. Okay, so there we go. That's what we do with the people that have head and neck problems and problems with their TMJ. So if you have any questions or want more information, our contact data is below, and look forward to seeing you in the office. Thanks.